Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I'm doing your monthly reading for November 2020. I've already thoroughly shuffled the cards, but I do want to remind everybody that it is a general reading and as such may or may not resonate with you. Take what works for you and leave the rest. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, there's directions in the box below and I will be happy to accommodate you with that. Hopefully everybody has um, subscribed because that throws your energy in with us and I do have a tendency when I do my meditations and prayers to focus upon the needs of my subscribers. So it helps both of us and it's an exchange of energy that kind of gets the ball rolling. So um, what we're going to do, Aries, is we're going to pull for the month of November the general energies. Then we're going to pull specifically for career and finance and specifically for love. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energies for Aries, general energies for the month of November, please? Alright, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and coupled together we have the Nine of Swords along with the world of oh, wait the wheel of fortune i'm sorry the wheel of fortune in the reverse hmm interesting all right spirit can i have the energies for career and finance for aries for the month of november we have the 7 of swords we have the Page of Cups in the reverse. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. And Spirit, can I have the energy for love for Aries for the month of November, please? All right, so we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Moon in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. So it is worth noting, um, Aries, that in your love sector, all of the cards are in the reverse. At the bottom of the deck, again in the reverse, we have the High Priestess. So I feel like with the High Priestess in reverse, this is a caution to you, Aries, to use your intuition. There's um, one or more situations throughout the month that you may not be using your intuition. Um, so try to open yourself up and, you know, listen to your intuition, listen to spirit, um, because that's, that's kind of a warning for you. All right, so can I have a card for the general energies for Aries, please? General energies for Aries, please. energies for Aries please all right so we have sharing of yourself career and finance for Aries revealing radiance love for Aries November please love for Aries uh, we're gonna take the one that came up and we're gonna put that one back okay all right, Aries, let's dig deeper into this. So general energies for November, coming into November, we do have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this indicates a loss of some sort. It could be a loss of stability. It could be a loss of finances. But I see you coming into November with some kind of a loss here. Um, Spirit, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, and the loss is caused because of inaction. So there's a need for you to take some kind of um, action. Um, and again, I'm receiving almost like a warning to you. So there's some, some situation where there's going, in the early part of the month, the first week, that there's going to be some kind of loss. It's either stability or it could be finances. But it's, it's caused by a lack of action. Why is the Six of Wands here? Moving into the second week, again, we see that Ten of Pentacles in reverse, but I see you overcoming it, whatever it is. So it may not be an action on your part. It could even be an action on someone else's part, 
But with the Six of Wands here, I see you overcoming this. So the first two weeks of November, um, you're going to be dealing with either a loss of finances or a loss of stability. I see you overcoming that in the second week, however, which is really good. Um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse in the third week, um, which means that you could be dealing with an Earth sign. And if that's the case, it would be a, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Um, why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here? Okay, so so we see um, fulfillment, <laughs> fulfillment coming in. Um, I do think that the, this person um, might be a little bit in a lower energy, um, but you're going to be dealing, I feel like this is a person. I feel like there's going to be some kind of an earth sign that you're dealing with here, and I feel like they might not be as stable as they appear. Um, they may appear to be like, you know, just very loving and fully stable, um, but they're not. So be aware of that. Um, and that could be where some of this loss is coming from. Um, also, it is worth noting that the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can indicate um, somebody that you're running across that appears to be very happy in their relationship but they are actually unfaithful in that relationship. Um, Queen of Pentacles tends to be a wife, um, the wife and in the reverse, that would indicate um, that this person is, if not unfaithful, is not happy in the relationship. So, but I feel like this is someone you're gonna be dealing with in the third week. And interestingly enough, that is around Thanksgiving time, so it could even be a family member. Um, you also have the Nine of Swords coupled with the Wheel of Fortune in the final week of November. And so I feel like there is a situation that is not changing that is going to leave you really stressed out, really worried and upset. Um, Spirit, can I have clarification? Yeah, there's something you don't know about this situation, though. And it could even be that you feel like you're in the dark. Um, but there's something here that you are you you don't know about. Oh. Oh. Well, you know what? I don't feel like... I feel like this person really loves you. Whoever you're dealing with here, or the situation, you, what you don't know is that this can be a brand new beginning in love. But I see you really stressed out and worried about it because you feel like it's not changing. But what you don't know is that it is a beginning. It's a brand new beginning. And this looks like new love too. Um, Spirit's advice to you is sharing of yourself. An incredibly generous being. An incredibly generous being. Oh, yeah, and you know what, Aries? Most of you guys are, at least until you're crossed. And then you can be wicked as hell. So, yeah, I... Whatever this is, I feel like Spirit is guiding you that you can you can share of yourself with this person. So, general energies, again, um, you're going into the early part of the month. It looks like you're going to be dealing with some kind of loss, either stability or financially, in the first couple of weeks. You are going to overcome this. This loss is caused by inactivity. It's either inactivity on your part or someone else. Um, and honestly, I I'm start, I feel like because that's air sign quality, it's on your behalf. But you are going to overcome it by the end of the second week. Um, in the third week, which incidentally coincides with Thanksgiving, you are going to be dealing with somebody, most likely an earth sign, but they could have earth in their chart who appears on the outside to be very happy in their, their family life, very fulfilled, but they are not. And they are either unfaithful or they are unhappy in their marriage or both. Um, at the end of the week, or at the end of the month, I do see that you're gonna be very concerned over something that you feel is not changing, you feel like it's not going your way, but what you don't know is that it really is because this is a brand new beginning in love. And it looks like new love, Aries. All right, so let's look specifically now at your career in finance. So we start out with the Seven of Swords. Interesting, because we had talked about loss. So the Seven of Swords has to do with lies and deceit. So something within your workplace 
um, if somebody's not being honest, it's going to create a lot of conflict. And I think also you're going to fear a lot of loss too. So I feel like somebody didn't do their job. Somebody didn't do something they were supposed to do. And I feel like you know they know they didn't they're trying to hide it they're trying to cover it up but there's going to be a lot of conflict so you know within the workplace Aries um, or financial um, I expect there to be conflict in the first week expect there to be something that is discovered that is just not on the up and up um, it's going to create conflict going into the second week we have the page of cups in the reverse Yeah, so I see um, that you're going to pull back from whatever this situation is. You don't want to get emotionally involved in it. And I feel like you're going to stand your ground. And standing your ground is actually what is going to, um, it's going to make this situation turn back around. Um, I feel like you're, you're passing judgment on this. I feel like um, you, you've made up your mind about this situation. You're pulling back from it emotionally. You're drawing some very firm boundaries. And actually, that's going to create a situation where you are victorious in this situation. I don't feel like you're going to get tied up in it. I don't feel like it's you that's being deceitful. I think you may see it, but you're not going to, you're not going to allow yourself to get caught up in that. Yeah, you've, you've passed judgment. You've pulled away from it. You don't want anything to do with it. And I feel like you're going to overcome it. So the first two weeks um, at work, in work and finance, I think is going to be a little, a little sketchy for you. It's going to be a little difficult, but I see you actually really learning from it. And Spirit's advice is revealing radiance. It, it shows a pearl, a giant pearl in an oyster. So it says, my light illuminates the world. So, you know what, Aries, you just be that, that light. And, you know, I think by you being that light, I think it's going to illuminate something here. Somebody's not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And they know it. And they're trying to hide it. And I think that, I think you coming into the situation somehow is going to illuminate it. All right, going into the third week, you have the Two of Wands. So this is you trying to make a decision about a new direction. And this new direction is going to bring you stability. So you're trying to focus on which way should you go. You're making decisions here. Um, and you're trying to make informed decisions that is going to bring about stability. So this is either within work, within your job, within finance. Um, if it's within finance, you're trying to make wise decisions as far as investments, something that's stable. If it's school, again, you're trying to make, because for those of you that are students, this, of course, would be more about school. Um, but for those of you that are students, I see that you're, again, trying to be studious, trying to make good decisions, trying to create that stability. Um, so there's a decision in that third week that has to be made. Um, we see the Five of Pentacles in the reverse in the final week. And if you're going to have the Five of Pentacles, because that speaks of financial loss, um, you want it in reverse because that means that whatever was lost comes back to you. And we did see that. Um, we clearly saw that you have victory over this situation up here. And so, yeah, there's going to be communication back and forth. Um, I feel like there is going to be a delay on something, some kind of a, a new beginning, but I feel like whatever was lost is going, or whatever you were afraid was lost, is going to be returned to you um, in the final month of November. Yeah, so it's a card of recovery. It's a card of healing, and there will be communication back and forth, forward movement, and that's a really good sign. That's a really good sign. So as far as your... Um, and there is a delay to something, though. There is a delay to something that is a brand new beginning. Don't stress about that because all is not lost, okay? Don't stress about that. There may be a delay to something that you're trying to get off the ground, um, but it's only a delay. It's not over, okay? There is going to be forward movement in it. So for your work and career, um, I see the first two weeks being a, a little bit um, tough really doesn't look like um, it's something that 
you've caused, I think you're going to draw some firm boundaries. You're going to call judgment on this. You're going to pull back from it. And that's exactly what's going to give you the victory over it. Um, and then you're going to make some decisions here. Uh, you know, it, those decisions are going to bring stability. Yeah, and, and actually celebration as well. And I do see that it's going to, by the end of the month, any losses that you feel that you may have incurred, whether they're emotional or whether they're financial, I feel like you're going to recover those. And um, there is a brand new start of something, maybe a new project, maybe a, you know, a new side job. I don't know what it is, but there's something that is going to be a little bit on hold, um, but it is going to move forward. It's just not going to move forward by the end of the month. Now let's look at your love life, Aries. Um, so we have at the beginning of the month the page of swords in the reverse. So again, um, it looks like you're coming into, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing here, Aries, but it looks like, you know, it's not even you. It looks like you're dealing with some sketchy ass people here. So the page of swords in the reverse is basically somebody not telling you everything. It's, it's not a direct lie, although it can be. It feels more like this is a lie of omission. Somebody's not telling you everything that you need to know. Um, and this is in love. So why is the page of swords? Here? It's something you need to know. Yeah, something you need to know to make a decision. And I feel like you're not making a decision because you're you're kind of, even though there's a decision at hand in love, you're not making this decision because you feel like you don't have all the facts. You feel like something is not being revealed to you. You're trying to make an informed decision, a, a head over heart decision. You're not trying to be all up in your emotions about this, which is typical of Aries. Um, so I feel like going into the month, there's something that's not really being you know, handed to you accurately, okay? Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse for the second week. And again, there is a card here. You have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And so I feel like whatever this is, you're not putting any work into it. And so the situation may end or it may, it, it may end or it may just transform. But either way, I don't see you putting the work into it. I see you kind of, you know, in more of a wait and see kind of mode. Um, but again, it's going to bring you victory. I don't, whatever this is that is ending, I feel like it's going to feel like a loss. But the end result is that it's going to be in your better, your betterment. Um, because I see you having victory over it at the end of the day. So you've really pulled back. I think it's because you sense that this person is not, you know, they're not really telling you everything. Um, you have the moon in reverse in the third week. Again, that would be um, the week, I believe, of Thanksgiving. Yeah, so you're manifesting the truth. You're manifesting to see everything. And you are. Um, secrets are going to be coming out. If not secrets, um, you're going to begin to to get clarification on whatever this was that was being held from you. Um, you're going to understand a little bit more about what's going on here. Now, again, you could be dealing with um, a, a earth sign. And if so, they may look very happy in their marriage and you may find out that they're not. This could be someone that you're interested in. Um, so... I do see that in that third week, you're going to begin to get some clarification on some subject. And this is something that you've brought about. You're, you're manifesting this situation. Um, you have the Six of Swords in the reverse in the final week. So, yeah, I feel as if whatever this is, you're going to feel a little bit stuck. I see you waiting. So, you're going to find out something. You're going to understand something a little bit more clear. And... You know, by the end of the month, it's going to kind of make you feel a little stuck in this situation. You're going to be waiting, um, but it's self-imposed. It's your choice to, to wait. So, I don't, I don't know what it is that's going on exactly here. It looks to me, Aries, like, um, it looks like this is something brand new, though. Because remember, what you don't know, what you don't know, and you're frustrated, right? You're frustrated, you're upset, you're in a waiting period, you're feeling stuck. 
because you feel like things aren't changing. But what you don't know is that this is going to bring about brand new love. So I would say hang in there, Aries. Um, you're going to find out some stuff in that third week that's going to that's gonna be, you know, very revealing. And I feel like you're trying to manifest this relationship. So, you know, what you see going into the end of the month is not everything. There's something you don't know. And I feel like this person really does have deep emotions for you. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the three of wands in the reverse. So I feel like there's something here that you're you're not really wanting to wait around for. You're feeling like, you know, your ships are not coming in. That, so remember that spirit is telling you you're not using your intuition, though. Let's get an angel card and see what kind of advice we have for you. Well, that was fast. Everybody else took a while to come out. Okay. It says, child. You care deeply about children, and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. All right, so while this may have to do with your own children or your family or even children that you know, I really believe, Aries, that this has to do with you. So focusing upon that inner child, focusing upon um, self-care and your needs, I feel like it's going to break this loose. I feel like it's going to break this loose, this love situation. Now, as far as the work situation, again, just hang in there because, you know, I feel like that's, you, you have a lot of integrity here. It's very obvious. And I feel like you're going to really, you're going to draw on that and it's going to be an example to those around you. But in either case, take care of that inner child. Um, do what you would suggest your child do. Um, and love yourself in the way that you would love your child. All right? So, I hope this has been helpful to you, Aries. And um, comment below. I do read all of your comments. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Like and share the video. It'll help with circulation. And until I see you next time, Aries, namaste.